So I finally got an arcade cabinet, and I am totally, totally stoked. I got it for only $50 off of Craigslist. It's an Atari Cabaret cab, and so it's a little shorter, which is cool, you know, like because I don't have all that much space, so that just, like, works out. Uh, these pictures were taken before I cleaned the cabinet up, so you're going to see a lot of dirt, a lot of paint splatter and, and crap like that. But that's okay. Uh, a lot of it came off when I cleaned it up, and so that's awesome. Uh, you know, there's definitely still some cosmetic flaws and everything, but that's okay. Like, for example, you can see that the uh, lock from the coin door is missing, so i got to replace that. Uh, the game is, of course, Tetris. And that just, like, blew my mind. Because not only did it blow my mind because it's a game that I like, it blew my mind that the cabinet was actually working. <laughs> you know? Because uh, the Craigslist ad, all it said was, arcade cabinet, $50, and an address and the time to be there in between, or around, or whatever. And so I was expecting just, you know, an arcade cab with, you know, dead guts inside of it and everything, and... And but no, it's 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 a complete working arcade cabinet, and so that is just awesome. You can see some blemishes on the control panel and whatnot, but like I said, that's that's not a big deal to me, and it gives me something to do, it gives me a project which I like. And uh, you can see that the screen just looks great. Uh, you know, like I mean, well, I mean, in this picture you obviously can't see the screen much but what I'm more referring to is the actual fiberglass on top of the screen no major cracks or scratches or anything like that and it actually cleaned up really nicely and yeah the actual monitor itself has really good colors to it, it looks nice uh, you know nice nice dark blacks and everything so everything looks good monitor wise and you can see that I need to replace replace um, one of the light bulbs for the coin acceptor. No big deal. And they're easy fix. There's the uh, coin acceptor mechanism thingamajigger. I haven't tried it yet. It's set to free play. If I figure if it does work, super awesome. If it doesn't, something to do. You know, something to fix. Why not? And here's the original bucket that came with the cabinet and everything to collect the coins you can see that it says clax on it and that's because it was originally a clax cabinet and there's the uh, there's that without the bucket in it and here's the Atari stickers on the back of the unit and uh, yeah pretty cool and there's the stickers without the flash on the model number and serial number and stuff are still there just kinda hard to make out they're really faded because you know they're stamped on there and so they faded over the years, but you can still make out the numbers, which is cool. And there's this little FBI warning thing, which I thought was hilarious. It reminds me of the one that they played before movies. <laughs> and there's the bottom of the back of the cab. You can see the air vent off to the left. And to the right, you have the power cord. And on top of that, you have the power switch. And here is the um, back panel. And uh, that this is obviously the other side of it, the part that would go inside of the cabinet. And you can see the original Clax instructions uh, stapled onto there. And behind that is actually a printed version of the uh, Tetris instructions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's the inside of the cabinet. You can see the lights on the board. I just thought that was a cool shot. Thought I'd throw it in there. <laughs> and here's the inside of the cab. There's the board with all of its ROMs and its dip switches and its nice wiring harness and all that fun stuff that I <laughs> that I think is amazing. The board's actually really small. And there's the p power master, which is like the little thing that you know outputs the various voltages and whatnot. And here's the actual power brick. It's very dirty. Definitely needs cleaned up. And there's the back of the monitor. You can see it's a Philips. And there's the monitor along with the monitor board. Uh, there's probably like 22 years of grunge on there that I need to clean off. And you can see the speaker underneath of it and the wires going down to the coin acceptor and whatnot. And this video here was actually recorded with my cell phone, so excuse the 
background noise. It was picking up some kind of electronic interference or something. But as you can see, it cleaned up pretty nice, and that's just a once over. And so I'm going to go back over it again, of course. And, uh, you know, at this point, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with the cabinet. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep it as is because I love Tetris, and I'm, so I'm going to enjoy playing that for a while. But eventually, I'm either going to make either a MAME cab or a JAMA cab, or I might even find other boards that will work with the wiring harness and everything just as is, and I can just swap out. You know, maybe I will restore it into a Klax machine. I don't know. I'm not 100% on what I'm going to do with it yet. But, uh, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it as is for now. But if you have any suggestions or, you know, if you have any thoughts or opinions of what I should do with the cabinet, what I should turn it into, then, you know, let me know what your thoughts are because I'd be interested in hearing that. But, yeah, for 50 bucks, I I don't think I uh, could go too wrong. You know, I mean, it works, and it's a good game, and, you know, those four-way controllers are good, and those little buttons are good, and everything's awesome. I'm, I'm just stoked. I don't know what else to say. So, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to get back to playing some Tetris.